Did he land the dig with any real power? Yeah. No. What was the difference? What's the difference? What did I back him away from? Range. Yeah, it's the thing, think about stuff. It's very difficult to think about stuff when people are moving at you with intent. This is why you've got to be really careful when you apply combat sports movement to fighting. Moving here. It's happening with this range. Micro adjustments. Micro adjustments. Yeah. Micro adjustments. <laughs> See the difference? When you walk at someone like a predator, T-Rex doesn't go, when T-Rex is going to eat you, I'm going to eat you! That makes sense, when a T-Rex is going to eat you, he's going to walk through you like we don't need shit. T-Rex wants to eat you, he moves through you. So, if you want to land a killer shot, you're going to have to throw what I call a street jab. And a street jab is putting something betwixt me and you to give you the time to strike him with yeah. whatever. So as I come at you now with some space, with some speed, I want you to your left hand, just slam me pretty solid in the chest. Yeah. And I want you to throw that shot. Yeah? Because I'm going to come at you with the same intensity, in the same way you've got a one-two. I want you to slam me on in that chest and then look at the shot. Yeah. You ready? Let's go. Did a bit more bite on that, didn't it? He bought himself a little bit extra work. And? Space. If you've got time, you've got space. If you've got space, you've got choice. Make sense? You take away time and space, you take away choice. So I'm going to come at you. Oh! He buys himself that little bit of time. That's why push, dig, pull, dig, something. Preempt something before you strike is important. Because when you are doing a preemptive strike, unless you are a psychopath, you will be shitting yourself with fear. You'll be afraid. If I'm a big scary man, like, come on, Nick, I'm not so much man! Yeah, it's scary, isn't it? When people are vacuuming up your space and time, it's scary. And all the things that you can do, come on, all that disappears. So what I call a street jam is finding something that you don't need to aim because your first strike will suck. Your first strike, if, if, if you get really nervous and I'm starting to scare you, you're going to start to go, shit, I'm going to do it. You might misaim it, misjudge it, you might have a source on it. If I was to say push me around in the chest, you don't even have to think about that. You don't even have to think about it. We push people all the time since we're children. So for me, a street jab is anything from, I'll just throw you just hang on, anything from a shove to the chest, a poke to the eyes, yeah? a grip of the shirt, anything that I don't need to, I don't need to think about, I don't need to worry about. I need to worry about where a fist lands, good shit. I need to worry about Palm Hill lands. Good shit. I don't need to worry about where it just good goes. I don't need to worry about that. It bought me a half beat to chip. So I call it the